So as you can see, I kind of have everything uh, broken down and just sitting in boxes pretty much. Um, I do have the main assembly kind of put together, mocked up. Um, so what I want to do on this today is try to finish up some of these welds. Uh, you can see it's pretty much just tacked together. Um, so I want to try to get all those welded up. And uh, then let me take you over to the uh, control panel. So I've got this guy sitting here, kind of populated with some of the components, pretty much everything that's going to be in here. Um, got a power supply, a couple relays, uh, some motor controllers, and then if you look down there, we've got uh, a fidget. So that's where uh, the thermocouple plugs into, and then it comes out here to a USB port. So what I need to do on this guy is uh, cut a little hole and mount that uh, USB port and also mount this IEC connector. So we'll have to lay out some holes on here and uh, cut those out and get these things mounted. So we've got the holes laid out here on the side of the control panel. Um, this lower line right here represents uh, where the flange comes up to on that bottom, uh, that bottom plate. So we wanted to put the uh, connectors just above that. Um, so what we're going to do is try to remove most of that material with a uh, unibit and then we'll come back with either a hand file or a, a carbide burr. And try to get those uh, just perfect. Alright, so we got it as close as we could with the air tool. Um, those carbide burrs can be tricky. You can see I kind of slipped there and it gouged the, uh, the steel a little bit, but that's alright. We're going to finish that and paint it later. 
but yeah, so we got as close as we could with that. So I'm gonna have to come back with uh, hand files and, and clean that up. And this one, I tried to use the uh, burr on and it kept just grabbing and wanting to gouge the material. So we'll just take care of that with the hand files. I got the cutouts all finished. Let me just show you the fit up here. So you can see those line up pretty good. Um, I'll have to go up a size. Um, these holes I put in there are just like placeholders essentially. Um, and then the USB uh, port fits in there real nice. I'm also going to have to get the hardware for both of these. Um, but yeah, that's done. So let's move on to the next thing. I went ahead and took the body off of the frame so I can access uh, some of these uh, joints better. Uh, so you can see like the main uh, rectangle, I guess, the outside perimeter is all fully welded. It's just these uh, cross members and stuff that I need to put some more welds on.
All right, guys, so we got the frame all welded up. Um, gotta be honest, these aren't the best welds I've ever made. Uh, a couple reasons. Um, the metal's just really dirty and hard to get clean. And I didn't have the correct rod. I had a 16th inch rod. And typically on thin wall tubing like this, I like to use an 045. Um, but I mean, you know, they're decent. If I get that to focus, you know, not terrible. They'll hold together. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next time.